Hey you guys, happy Monday and welcome back to my channel and another Masking Monday video. For every single Monday I am posting a mask review. Right now we are in the midst of reviewing the entire Peter Thomas Roth mask line and today we are going to be testing out the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. This is an enzymatic dermal resurfacer. As I've said in all of my other mask reviews, this is not in for this is not a first impression video. I don't like to do first impressions with skincare just because you never know how your skin's gonna react and it's really hard to kind of gauge a first impression for skincare. I'm really excited for this review though because this is one of my favorite Peter Thomas Roth masks. It's perfect for this time of year because it smells like a perfect pumpkin pie. It just smells like the fall time and I also really like the way that this mask performs. So if you guys are interested in my review and demo on this mask, then just keep watching. So like I said in the introduction, this is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask Enzymatic Dermal Resurfacer. This is a three-in-one intensive skin resurfacing treatment. It exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme, peels with alpha hollow, peels with high peels with alpha hydroxy acid and polishes with aluminum oxide to reveal smoother, younger looking skin. So this actually receives 4.5 out of 5 stars on the Ulta website and then it receives like 4.7 to 4.8 out of 5 stars on the Sephora website and it has almost 500 reviews on the Sephora website. So. Like I said, this smells like a pumpkin pie dream. I love the scent of this. If you are turned off by pumpkin scented things, then you're not going to be digging this mask. But if you like pumpkin fall scents, then you're going to like how this mask smells. To use this, you're going to apply a thin layer to your skin. It says to to apply the layer onto dry skin with wet fingertips. I personally like to go in with a damp face and then like put it on with like dry fingertips and you're supposed to rub, rub it in circular motions kind of like if you were just using like a regular exfoliator. After you've rubbed it onto your skin you want to let it sit on your skin for three to seven minutes kind of depending on your sensitivity to the mask. When I first started I would only leave this on for about three minutes now I can do the seven minutes. It definitely has a tingly stinging sort of sensation so if you have super sensitive skin I would definitely recommend doing a patch test and just be aware of that after I use this mask as you'll see when I do my when I do my um, demo it makes my face super super red so after the three to seven minutes you're just gonna rinse it off and you only want to use this two to three times per week a full size of this retails for $58 I myself just have a 1.7 ounce size that I got from the maskaholic set but this is what but this is what a full size looks like, so there is the comparison. I have already gone through a full 1.7 ounce in the past. This is my second one of these, and I did find that it lasted me a good amount of time. So if you're willing to splurge the $75 on the Mascaholic set, I personally think it's worth it. So that's all I have for information about this product. Now let's go ahead and jump into the demo. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit closer so you can kind of see. I feel like it's really dark now, but I'll try and fix that in editing and probably won't be able to. So this is what the mask looks like. It's still pretty thick. As you can tell, like it doesn't fall off my finger. That's kind of what it looks like. And so I usually take like a generous amount of this. I have already, my face is damp right now, just so you guys know. So I get the amount that I want ooh, on my skin or on my face. And then, like it says, you just rub it in circular motions all around your face. And it has like, and it has a micro exfoliant in it. Um, and it's pretty gritty. So I know like the Dr. Brandt micro exfoliant is not like, you can barely like feel that exfoliant on your skin. This one's a little grittier than that. And you can definitely feel the exfoliant. It almost feels like, I almost want to say it feels like sand, kind of. So it's like, I'd say like a medium level of harshness. So you're going to rub it in like this. And then once you feel like you have like a nice layer on all of your skin, you're just going to let it sit for three to seven minutes. So it is currently 3.54. I'll be back here in about five minutes or so. And I'll let you guys see what my face looks like before I rinse it off and then after I rinse it off and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the mask. All right guys, it is 3.59 so it's been about five minutes. This is what my face looks like. As you can tell, it's starting to look like a little bit more red through the mask and what I will say is you notice a 
tingly burning sensation almost right away so if you are off put by that sort of burning sensation I don't think that this mask is going to be for you but if you like an exfoliating mask that has that stinging sensation that you can like tell it's really working this mask is so I'm gonna rinse this off and show you guys what my face look like looks like like I said it does end up looking super super red afterwards um, but yeah I'll be right back to show you that so this is what it looks like a rinsed off my face as you can tell now my face is red so I do like so I do like to use this as a nighttime mask when I use this. I usually use it once a week. I do personally love this mask, you guys. I think it is well worth the $58 investment. I will absolutely purchase a full size once I finish my like travel deluxe sample size one that I'm using right now. I think it's a great exfoliant. I love what it does for my skin. It has my skin feeling smooth and polished for days after I use it. I love the way it smells. It's just such a good mask, you guys. And if you have the $58 to splurge or if you want to get it in the sampler set, which is $75, I think it is well worth the investment. I love most of the Peter Thomas Roth masks in general, but this is definitely one of my favorites. If you guys have any questions that I did not answer in this video, definitely let me know in the comment box below. Other than that, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you go, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!